Welcome to the first in a series that will talk about FreeBSD's Subversion to Git migration. We'll start by explaining the differences between Git and Subversion and how these differences will change things for users. Both Subversion and Git manage source code. At the highest level, both present a version view of the source that can be used to build different versions of FreeBSD. The commands to do this are a bit different between the two, but the concepts are similar. In Subversion, you do a SVN checkout and SVN update to track sources. In Git, you would do a git clone and git pull to track the sources. If you make changes to the tree, however, the experience will be quite different between the two and will be discussed in future videos. The biggest difference between the two is that Subversion implements a centralized repository, while Git's repositories are distributed. The source of truth in Subversion is that central repository, while Git's source of truth is more of a social contract where a project designates one of the many repositories as the source of truth. Subversion numbers its commits sequentially, and there's a strong ordering between branches. Git stores its changes as a graph of versions, and so there is no such strong ordering between changes. Subversion uses different paths within its namespace to tag versions and branches whereas Git offers a more of a versioned file system approach where tags and branches are handled as labels within the graph. Git repositories can also combine changes from multiple repositories, which will be important in later videos. Subversion offers no easy way to do this. Subversion tracks copies within a tree, while Git infers them using a sophisticated algorithm. When the files are large and mostly different, Git's algorithm will work fairly well. When they are small and fairly similar, there can be a number of false positives. While the differences between these algorithms are likely to be small for the source and docs trees, the ports tree may need to adopt its workflow to independently track copies due to the false positive issue. Subversion so supports topic branches to develop a feature before merging it back into the mainline. In addition, Subversion supports merging individual revisions from a main branch to release branches. Git's terminology is similar, yet the meaning differs in important ways. A merge is only the joining together of two or more branches. Copying individual changes from one branch to another is called cherry picking. Subversion tracks the merges and cherry picks and can easily give you a list of candidates that have not yet been merged from one branch to another. Git does no tracking of cherry picking, and it's harder to get a set of candidates for merging, though possible. Finally, Subversion has support for keywords that can be used to embed various bits of metadata from the repository into the checked out files, such as $FreeBSD. Git has no such feature natively, and the add-ons that are available provide functionality that is much less powerful or useful. Those, in a nutshell, are the key differences between the two. Future videos will explore what these differences mean for FreeBSD users, developers, integrators, and contributors. Thank you for watching.